Good afternoon, and welcome to another segment of the Worf Report for February 13th. Keep America vigilant to 23. Sinister Coup. An organization called the Transition Integrity Project published a document in August of 2020 warning that President Trump would, quote, likely contest the result of the 2020 election and that Trump might be willing to go to, quote, extreme lengths to stay in power outlining an entire plan on how to ensure Biden took over, well before any American casted a vote. Several more objects were shot down over the U.S. this weekend in a bizarre string of events. Donors come to the rescue of James O'Keefe at Project Veritas. Teachers who refused the COVID jab in New York City had their fingerprints sent to the FBI and green lasers from Chinese satellites over Hawaii. You do not want to miss this segment, folks. First, to the foreign objects being shot down across the United States and Canada, now totaling four. Are they dangerous or just a distraction? On Friday, a strange object was shot down over Alaska. The pilots who shot it down stated that the object, quote, interfered with sensors and could not understand how it was operating, since it has no identifiable propulsion. On Saturday, Canada shot down an object over the northern Yukon Territory around 3.41 Eastern Standard Time. Canada's defense minister said the object was cylindrical in shape and was flying at about 40,000 feet, which poses a risk to civilian air traffic. U.S. officials have described this one to Fox News as a, quote, small metallic balloon with a tethered payload. Then, Saturday evening, an object was detected by radar over Montana, However, military jets could not find it after searching for it. Then yesterday afternoon, the United States used an F-16 fighter jet to shoot down another object over Lake Huron, which was reportedly, quote, shaped like an octagon and was flying at about 20,000 feet. It was reportedly the same object detected over Montana that they couldn't find. Many in the country are baffled by what's actually going on, and some think it's a mere distraction. But for what exactly? Adding to the insanity, at the same time of the original Chinese spy balloon, Chinese altimeter satellite ICESAT-2-43613 fired green laser bursts over Hawaii on January 28, 2023. In Brazil, the Christ the Redeemer statue was reportedly struck by lightning on Friday, causing these stunning images to go viral. We are also hearing unconfirmed reports that the same strange cloud that appeared over Turkey just days before the massive earthquake disaster has now appeared in Argentina. Are these signs from God? What exactly is happening in the world? Now to a massive story. A document issued by the Transition Integrity Project dated August 3rd, 2020, titled Preventing a Disrupted Presidential Election and Transition appears to be a step-by-step guide on how to buck President Trump's efforts to stop a stolen election and force a transfer of power to Joe Biden, well before any votes were cast in the 2020 presidential election. From this point on, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to on this platform, or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, You know that YouTube had previously labeled our content as, quote, harmful to the public and nearly banned us permanently on at least two separate occasions. So please, join us for the rest of this segment at theworfreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without fear of censorship, suppression, or the banning of our account for only $1.99 a month or $15 for an annual subscription. And for all the trolls out there who don't like our business model, no need to comment. Just keep scrolling. We clearly have our reasons. For everyone else, your support helps us do what we do. See you there.